looks good. Turn down that fucking volume before I go deaf instantly. Hey duck, how's it going? And the chat's working. I need to work on getting the names to not cut off quite so bad. It's coming, I promise. For right now, you're meta D. I bet I can widen that a little bit. Let me see here. Chat box. Yeah, well, didn't really change much. My D is very meta. I don't know what that means. <laughs> right. Oh, I haven't even... I'm all out of sorts. I literally finished this overlay minutes ago. Thank you. I, I've wanted to make an overlay for a while and I just never got around to it. And it's too loud. This is such a lackluster presentation for this collection. It makes me so sad. Is there a sound test? nice to be able to see the whole game screen. Uh, you always could. It always seemed like it was cut off, but it wasn't. It went right It went right to the edge. But yeah, I just don't like having it squished down so much. I feel like the game is what you really want to see, but I think not having it go off the side like my cam is, uh, is better. Here in just a minute. I don't think Mega Man 1 will take that long. How are my uh, how are my volumes? I found that my I found the issue with my mic was that my computer settings had reset the mic sensitivity to uh, flat zero, which means it picks up fucking everything. So fix that. Just a tad. All right. You know what? I can use this NES controller, right? No? There we go. The Twitch box art for Mega Man is from the fucking Archie comics? What the hell? That ain't right. Just one more thing I want to mess around with here just real quick.
Alright. Oh. Fucking do not like this game. It's one of the worst ones. Okay, so... Power I need is on Electman stage, so I have to do Gutsman first to get it. Christ. I've never played Mega Man 1 with the uh, original controller. This will be interesting. Holy shit, jumped way too early. Oh! These guys are so annoying. For some reason, it's really hard to land in those. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, the, uh, the directional control as you're falling in this game is, like, wackadoo. Well, we're not doing a no-death run, so that's fine. Fucking Christ. Oh my god. Give me a health. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Eep! God damn. Why are there so many enemies in the boss gate room? Everyone knows there should be approximately zero. Okay. Gutsman's ass. That's annoying. Help, I'm getting fucked. Oh my god, he destroyed me. So I, full disclosure, I did play this game the other night. Um, did not have that much trouble with Guts Man, but... This goes to show you, whenever whenever you're whenever people are watching, it's harder. Get wrecked. Alright, duck, you know what? He's so hard. Like you're used to NES enemies hitting the ground and shaking it when they jump, but like his last so fucking long. Okay, 
Okay, died twice. Not a great start. Alright, now Guts beats Cut, but you don't really need Cut to beat Guts. I would like to have the Magnet Beam as soon as humanly possible. Alright, we'll do, we'll do Cut next. Thank you. You know what, Duck? You're there. You're there, get, there to give me the get wrecked, and you're there to give me the good job. There's a note in this song that feels like the way I remember which song is which is this song sounds like scissors are cutting my brain apart in one part. Like there's a note that just hits a really unpleasant center of my mind. It's that part. <laughs> I usually do uh, Cutman first, because he's, I would say, the easiest boss. But uh, you have to do, you don't have to do, but you should do one stage. You should do Gutsman before you do Electman, because you get the Magnet Beam from Electman stage, which is a power-up you literally need to beat the game. What's the uh-oh? Oh. oh. <laughs> I was like, what's the uh-oh for? Um, but you need the Magnet Beam to beat the game. But you can only get it in Electman stage, and only if you have Gutsman's power. And it's very annoying. game doesn't the stages aren't that hard though like for the most part they're they're very unbalanced I will say because some of them are pretty easy like I don't know this parts nothing nothing's happening it's just I guess if you rush it's harder and then this part can be annoying oops it's not that hard I say as I jump into it Those are useless. See, they lead you over here to get over here to get this health. Because when you do, these enemies can respawn. Oh, they didn't that time. Alright. Whatever, I guess. Hate those dudes. The shitty thing about Mega Man 1 is if you get hit and you fall into spikes, uh, the spikes will still hurt you. Oh! Oh my god. Why do you do so much damage and you give me nothing? Hit it! God damn it. I would like... Nope. 
fuck me. I'm gonna end up. God damn it. I'm on my last life. I don't wanna. I don't wanna game over. Fuck me. <laughs> Oh no. There we go. My cut man's not that hard, but I want I at least want full health. Jesus Christ! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the weaknesses in Mega Man games can be fucking ridiculous. So Guts is good against Cut, Cut to Elect, Elect to Ice, Ice to Fire, Fire to Bomb. I'm really bad at this jump on uh, this version, so we're going to go ahead and just kill these dudes. I think I can make it through all of the Mega Man games on the Switch collection, but... There is a bit of latency that makes it a little hard. A little harder than it needs to be. Composed by Maname Matsume. She wished me a happy birthday on Facebook once. Oh my god. Climb, you bitch. Now we get to the, the fun. Oh my god. I feel like if I ever set a text tone for work, it would be that sound because it stresses me out so goddamn much. I used to be able to do this without pausing at all. I used to run this game. Oh, I hate these things. Oh my god. Power-ups just disappear instantly. They don't even start flashing. They just... Poof! Fuck. Oh, God. Poof! Alright, there's the magnet beam. So... This is the best item in the game. Because you actually need it. I'd like an extra life, my dudes. No? Didn't think so. A lot of repeating segments too, like this. Oh my god. My hand sweats when I do that part. Oh, 
of this bitch. He's gonna, he's gonna hit me. I don't think there's a lot I can do about it. I can try to go under him, but that usually doesn't end well. Whew. Fucking point pellet. Uh, I'm on my last life too, and there's no way to get health in here. There's only ways to lose it. Here we go. Most OP boss in the game. He's dead. <laughs> I used to run this on my 3DS, um, powerless, but, uh, a big fuck no to that. I have no doubt in my mind that I'm going to die here. He also jumped really low in the water here. I hate these things. Die. Give me my points. This disappearing block puzzle, I will do. Because it's not that hard. This one, however, is a piece of shit. Does Elect Beam destroy these things? Oh, it does. What doesn't Elect Beam do, though? See, Magnet Beam lets you make little platforms like that. Okay, so here's the other biggest bullshit part of Mega Man 1. There are these platforms that fly around, and they are... they have RNG, so they just kind of aimlessly fly around up and down within a certain column, but you have to jump from platform to platform. So getting the two of them to line up is sometimes just not going to happen. So it can take a while for you to get to where you need to go. So. Oh, also, they shoot little shots out of the side of them. And if you get hit when you're on top of one, since that's not a real platform, uh, you'll fall through instantly and die. And it's terrible. And I hate it. And they're in multiple parts of this game, and this is what they look like. So we're gonna try... ...cheesing it. Ah! I died. <laughs> God damn it. I started too high. Ah, oh, fuck. And since, uh... Since I was off screen, the magnet beam did not place. That was my bad. It would be fun one day to like, if I do get good at these games again, because I, I used to be really good at them, at least one through six, uh, to do like a marathon and play through, 
I want that health, and I just lost the same amount of health that I got. Play through... One through six. Or just as many as possible. Fuck. Now that you have all your lives, you get all the health packs. Fuck. I was getting health packs before anyway. I got that one, didn't I? I'm playing Pokemon Shield, guys. That's right, I gotta kill this guy. This part is so annoying if you don't have the right power. It's, uh, because you, you keep falling into that one enemy, and this part can just wear you down. The timing is very stupid. And there was an extra life right there. I don't understand the drop, like, physics in this game. Like, the other games, if you hug a wall, you'll drop down there. I jumped right into it. These guys are the biggest pieces of shit in the entire universe. Ah! They take so many hits to kill! We'll try it with like a third of my health. Iceman. Fuck. You're dead. Out cold. might end up being a pretty short stream. <laughs> You know what? I don't want to go this way. Oh, that shot was perfect. Thank you. 
hate that hole there. It always feels like I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, baby. Magnet beam. How do I time that? Oh, don't worry about it. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Would have been nice. Just a little. Maybe a little more. Fireman, give me a pun for putting out a fire. It's better to burn out than to fade away, bitch. Looks like you got snuffed out. <laughs> Alright, I'll need one for Bomb Man, too. Looking for any and all puns on, uh, on this day. Ah! I jump. Fuck. Oh my god. He had an explosive personality. He's not dead yet. But I might use that. Fucking sniper Joe bitch. is blasting off again. Ow, you bitch! Drop a big health pack. A big one. Are you fucking kidding me? 
<laughs> Bingo! Oh! Ah! Eee. Stop coming here! being blocked noise or is that a he's getting hit noise that's a he's frozen noise oh god and me without my elect beam Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Well. Bomb man, huh? Let's see if we can beat you with uh, subpar health. Probably not my wisest idea. Oh right, well. It's up there, though. Bomb man. You... You bombed. That's a good one. Well, that went easy. That went pretty well. Oh, I love that noise. Dude, I love this song. Mega Man 2's Wily Castle 1 music is better, for sure. But this song is so melancholic. I love it. It's a bad noise. God damn it. Oh, I fucked that up harder than I wanted to. Oh, God damn it. No, get on the ladder! I always get health when I don't fucking need it anymore. Elect Beam even destroys that shit. Elect Beam is so goddamn good in this game. Ooh. 
Oh boy, my favorite. These fucking dudes. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need him over here. Come to me. No, I wasn't high enough. I wasn't low enough, I mean. Oh my god. If I get hit by one of those shots, too, I'm dead. And I don't know when they might fly. What even hit me? What even hit me? What hit me? No, you know what? I'm rewinding so I can see what hit me. Nothing! Nothing. Nothing hit me. Nothing hit me! Nothing hit me! Nothing hit me. Fuck that. I'll take the death. I jumped on top of the platform and I died. I jumped on top of the platform and I got hurt and I fell through it and I died. That was like three things that went wrong that shouldn't have gone wrong because this game sucks. Oh good, shot me as soon as I landed. Is there anything I could do? Nah, not really. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Don't fly up too fast. Oh my god. Mm. See, okay, so that's the part that you need the magnet beam for. If you don't have the magnet beam at that point, you, there's literally no way for you to progress. And you have to go back and try to figure out what you missed. Ho ho ho. You want to talk about bullshit. This is the hardest boss in the, in the entire series, save maybe one. There's no way to cheese it. No way to cheese this, this wave. You just have to... that up. Oh no. I played that badly. I played it badly. Shit. That one always gets me. is happening. I'm dead. I'm dead again. What the fuck? Mm. Alright. I couldn't even get the the exploit timing right. Good to see you. How's it going, T? No. Jump higher. Jump higher. Yeet! Thank you. Oh, I can't make that.
I'm alright, just spinning up another character for cart. Ever heard of the arcade game Mr. Do? I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. Knew that was gonna happen. God damn it. You shouldn't try this timing with the slight bit of latency. You really gotta push the button early. Oh my god. Plays similarly to Dig Dug. He plays a clown who collect cherries and avoid enemies. Huh. I gotta say, I don't know it. Eep. I hate this game. It's trash. Fuck this part. We're just gonna skip it. Don't need, I don't need those. The yellow double is going to completely wipe me out on my first life here, so... If I dodge every shot the first time I, I go in, I will, uh... I'll use a luck beam on him. I highly doubt that, though. I used to practice this and practice this. <laughs> Fucking... I deserve that victory. Fuck that guy. The big cheese. He is the big cheese, isn't he? I have fought him so many times with just the Mega Buster, and I just do not have... Oh my god. Do not have the patience for it. Ooh! Anymore. These guys. Oh my god. Stop. Where is a leaf shield when you need it? Oh, it's in a better game. Just like all the other good fucking parts of this series. Oh my god. What the fuck is this attack pattern? me I know it's because they made him a flame attuned adventurer in Dragalia Lost but it's funny to me that Mega Man's Leaf Shield is the game's in that game deals flame damage um yeah I I really wanted to do the Dragalia uh Dragalia Lost uh, event 
I just never got around to it. I've come to realize that I just really hate timed events in games. It just makes me... makes me not want to do it. Love the one-foot shuffle, yeah. <laughs> Mega Man staple. Uh, if you edge forward in Smash Brothers, he does that as well. You just barely tap it. Can I freeze these? some health please give me some health I would love it now please give me the health oh you can't go back up the ladder cool 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 take that boss sucks ass. I don't know a, a, I don't know the right way to fight it other than just using the, the main weapon. you're fine. Problem is he usually closes that gap and then he's on top of you and he does damage when he touches you. You just have to make a wave of bullets. Okay, you know what? I did it. I'm the best. I rule. I'm the best Mega Man. Oh, I'm Mega Man. I did it. Woo! 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 a pretty funny glitch on this boss. I don't really want to, but... If you get hit by a penguin as you're going through the door, um... You'll go into the boss room, and then you'll fall back out of it backwards, and you'll have to fight the boss in a different room that the boss isn't actually in, invisibly. Damn it. Okay. 
All right. This boss is incredibly hard if you don't know what you're doing. I feel like that could be said for all of the bosses in this game. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Shit. Stop hitting me. play Mega Man 2 now. Let me leave! Go up the ladder. Yeah! Look at all these gutsmans. Add a magnet beam. Fuck my life. Since this is going so fast though, maybe I'll I could I could either stream Mega Man 2 and just get both games out done in one night. But I'd kinda like to do another night. Um, or I could play through this game again and try to not game over at least. Probably still die, but... What if I carried that block all the way through the stage? <laughs> So that power up down there will give you full weapons on everything, and full health. Um, but I don't need it. Who's first? It's not Cutter Elec. Is it Guts? No, it's Bomb. Took too many hits there. Ooh. Let me pause the game. This fucking things won't disappear. No, I'll just fucking kill him. Based Yashichi, I couldn't remember what it was called. Get away from me, Gutsman! No! 
You and your panties. There's no way I'm going to beat him with this little health. Oh yeah, I fucking, especially when I jump into him like that in the very fucking first second of the fight. I stopped walking. Let me switch my goddamn weapon. Oh, fuck. I don't remember what else this week, too. Okay. <laughs> he just like... <gasps> Yay, we did it. It only took like an hour. gamers. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. Back in the days when they couldn't uh, use uh, developers' actual names because they were afraid that uh, other companies would try to hawk their developers. Tom Pond. Enough King is Inafune. 8K. HMD is what Beautiful Joe's shirt says. Another game made by Capcom. Mega Man lives in New York pre-9-11. Look, that's the twin fucking towers right there. I'm telling you. Presented by Capcom USA. We did it. I could do better. Hey, Super Jump. How's it going? You, you literally missed the entire thing. <laughs> um, how do I get back? Oh, here we go. What is with that wiener, wiener version of this noise? Yeah, I noticed. I'm thinking I might play it again, though, because that went pretty, went pretty well. Could have gone better. God, what did they do? This is such a piss poor, like, collection presentation wise. We'll do it again. Took an hour. Oh no. I don't much care for that.
trying to think if I want to do a different order. I want to do the same order, because it's a good order. I still wish we got the two arcade games and Battle of Chase in these collections. Let me tell you what, T. I don't think you've ever been more right about anything in your life. If we got the arcade games on the Switch version, ooh, if we got Battle and Chase, that would be what I would be doing right now. I would be going, num, 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 playing Battle and Chase. I've always wanted to play Battle and Chase. I'm sure it's dog shit. Also, put Mega Man Soccer on there, you goddamn animals. And Mega Man and Base, the SNES version. Just give us that instead of the shitty GBA version with the awful fucking aspect ratio. God damn it. I have the anniversary collection on the GameCube, which is great, uh, except it's on the GameCube and the fucking A and B buttons are swapped around, which is fucking so hard to unlearn and to learn it's hard both ways um but yeah that has uh the two arcade games and they're fucking awesome they're fun as hell and they're co-op so they're great and they've got cool story and like things and you can play as proto man and it's awesome um but they don't have nine and ten i really love these collections these ones because they have nine and ten and they've never been re-released other than their original release on like the wii um, so that's awesome, but why are the collections separated? Why couldn't I just buy Mega Man Legacy Collection Complete and have all 10 games on one piece of software on my Switch? And why couldn't you put the arcade games, or Battle and Chase, or Mega Man and Base, or Mega Man Zonker, or the fucking Game Boy games? Why couldn't you put any of that shit on there? Blah! It's not the worst racing game in the world, but I tell you, mixing and matching carts cart parts is hella cool i've always wanted to play it maybe someday i'll i'll get a copy and i'll stream it it's another ps1 game i've been wanting to stream lately um team buddies if anyone knows team buddies please tell me because i'm very alone in the world where no one else knows team buddies all right <laughs> God damn it. All right. I'm going to reset. That was awful. Okay. Um, I love hitting the robot masters with their weakness pa weapon and power battle. The first hit you get, the first hit gets you a freeze frame with the hit sparks and it's just satisfying, especially on dive man. Yeah, that's, I really like that because it's really easy to tell, uh, which, which ability is good against which robot master. I, I wish they were a little more obvious in these games. Like, some of the games, like, are too obvious, right? Like, Metal Man dies to one Metal Blade. It's like, okay, I get it. <laughs> but, like, or, like, they take, like, a third of their health away. Or more. But, in other games, like Mega Man 4 especially, it's not always super obvious. It's like, well, I think this is doing more damage, but I'm not sure if this is considered the weakness. these guys the bad thoughts because they they look they're so mischievous looking they just swoop down and they do not let you go until you fucking drop them god damn it get out of here hammer man pickaxe man Stop that! Ooh. Okay. I'm not gonna fall in the fucking instant death hole like I did last time. 
I, I don't get the fall physics in this game. They don't make any sense. I'd love to play Mega Man Maker too. I really wish they would, um, Capcom would just buy that up and just release it. Because Mario Maker is not making waves like it should. And I would love to, I would love to make a Mega Man stages. Eep. Oh yeah, I don't have any powers, duh. Mega Man's made of various metals, but he can't be that heavy, right? <laughs> Give me your ass! I'm just eating shit. Stop! Get away from me! Oh my god. He's in me! There's a dream craft dream crafter game. Basically Kirby Maker. Oh that's cool. See, I'd love more games like that. I really wish that's what I was hoping they were gonna do with Super Mario Maker, but they're really dragging their feet on it. Like we got the Zelda content, which is cool, but I don't know why you would never play as Link because he's so goddamn much better. And it took him a while to up to update that game in any meaningful way. Get out of me! Gone bad thoughts. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? Music just fucking went all wild. other games would have cool makers. A Zelda maker would be cool. I feel like that's what everyone kind of went to after Mario Maker. But honestly, just officially release uh, Mega Maker and I would I would I would play that shit so goddamn much. It would be so much fun to make all sorts of wacky shit in Mega Man.
fucking Christ. Why do you do so much damage? Got this. Pick it up. Hey, cut man. Fuck you. <laughs> That's my clever line that I say when I kill cut man. Rock beats scissors, bitch. Kung Fu. Not sure what you're talking about. I love that. That face. Still need to make my Twitch emotes. If anyone knows anyone that's good at making uh, emotes, send them my way. I hate these guys. I hate this whole game. Why am I playing this again? Why am I playing this again, again? You know what I'm saying? Huh, huh, fucking pickle, fuck. It's gonna push me off the side. I knew it. I knew it. my points so I'm not gonna game over this time I'm gonna get a really high score and everyone's gonna be really impressed stop that we're gonna be like whoa fish your high score is so cool oh my god I'm gonna give you so much twitch money now did you see that dodge though did you see that dodge though Eat! Eat! Uh, it was showing up at the bottom. Oh, fuck. That was very stupid of me. Wait a second. So, if I came up this way, and I didn't do Guts Man stage first, which I think I can still get up this way without it, and I didn't collect the Magnet Beam, I would have to go all the way back down. That's, that's lovely. Guardian, right? No, it's the next screen where he's gonna fucking hit me once and instantly murder me and destroy my life. 
in my marriage. I forget what they're actually called. Oh, yep. Yeah. Big Mamma Jammas! How many lives do I have? Uh, I'm only already at one life. It's looking grim, gamers. Okay, we're gonna go the other way. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Hate these guys, they are so annoying. again. Oh, it refills my energy. Weird. I another game I wish they would re-release would be Mega Man Powered Up for the PSP. That game was good as shit. It was a remake of this game um, in a very chibi, cute art style. And you could play as any of the Robot Masters. And they all had their powers, but they were like kind of souped up versions of them. It was voice acted to, you know, better or worse effect. Um. There was a fucking level creator. Um, jump high. All right. I feel that Powered Up would have succeeded better if it were on the 3DS. Oh, definitely. It definitely would have. Um, yeah, you play as any Robot Master. They also introduced two new Robot Masters to bring it up to an... Uh, well, I was going to say an even eight, but that definitely hit me to the serious standard of um, of eight Robot Masters. There was Time Man and Oil Man, which I liked them, but they do not fit the theme of Mega Man 1 and like their construction robots. I hate this fucking room. What's up, Alec Man? Ow, you bitch. But yeah, level creator, play as any robot master. You could play as Roll, you could play as Proto Man. It fucking. It had. You could play the old stages the way they used to look and in their old layouts, or you could play them in their new layouts because it redid the stages too, but it let you choose between which versions you did. Um. else. It was just amazing. It was fucking incredible. You can play his role and there were special DLC, like free DLC they gave out that were her, like different costumes for her. And she she used a broom. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying Roll's not a problematic character, but um, the different skins, different costumes replaced the broom with different things. There was a kitty cat one that I used a lot. And it replaced it with a giant fish, so she, was, so she would hit enemies with the giant fish, and it was great. It was also just interesting to see a Mega Man, like, melee attack way of playing through the game. Oh, they also rebalanced the, uh, the weaknesses, so they made more fucking sense. I'm pretty sure in that version, fire is strong against ice, not vice versa. Cat. 
Be gone! They named Rock Mega in the localization, um, though, which sounds a bit weird. It does. I mean, so does Rock, though. I mean, I mean, Rock is, like, Rocky is a name. You don't hear people call him Rock a lot, though. But it, it was definitely weird. I won't... can't even lie about that. He doesn't have a good name. Like, I'm just gonna say that. I almost fucked that up again. And Proto Man was so much fun in that game. He was so fucking good. That's how you do that part, ladies and gentlemen. God, I don't... I don't understand. Came out on the PSP of all fucking systems. Can you get it on PSN on like a PS4? Honestly, there there are a few games that would convince me to get a PS4. If I could play, if they had Team Buddies on PSN, if they had Mega Man powered up. And Persona 5, obviously, but those two would they they would be huge to me. I'm gonna put you on ice! Fuck. You're done. Ice cold. Ice to meet you. Ice. I kicked your ice. You're an ice hole. I guess we went ice fishing, because I'm fish. Probably shouldn't do that in case they drop a, uh, a one-up, because the, the item spawn longevity is, uh, stupid in this- excuse me, die please. That comes out very fast. Please don't fucking hit me. Please do not hit me, I am mega. Look at me, I am a little boy. Back up the ladder, I'd like to get that health. I'm going to get the health now. <laughs> totally nailed that. Don't. God damn it. Go away. I'm walking here. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna game over. I'm gonna game over. 
Again. Oh. Switch to ice. Ow. Ah, it's gonna turn back into fire. Ooh! Why did that shoot up when I froze it? Ow. My fucking head. God. The fucking power up went off the top of the screen. Oh, I'm mad. Damn it. Oh my god. And it's Fireman too, it's not like a boss I can fight without getting hit. safer place to get health anyway. Or extra live? Just a little more. All right. Fireman's boss fight is best described as just brute fucking force. Because as soon as you start shooting, he just fucking starts shooting and does not stop. I have never been able to figure out exactly how that's supposed to fucking work, but he just fucking loses his goddamn mind. Zero lives. At least the stage is pretty easy. Cut to me dead this stage. Can I fall into instant death spikes? Ah! You know, you guys could give me just like a 1-1-0. One, one
fuck? I really wish they would make Mega Man 2 powered up. I always thought they should do that and put it on the 3DS. That's where people actually buy it. And it's not like... It's not like Powered Up was like a gorgeous game. It looked good, but... Goddamn. And they made Proto Man fucking good in that game on like 9 and 10 where they made him eat shit. He's so bad in 9 and 10. So many points, dude. somebody for Mega Man Powered Up 2. Mega Man 2 Powered Up. Name the person. What happens if I freeze this thing? Another one doesn't show up. Interesting. Ow. Huh. Oh my god, I made it. gotten that extra life. How do you guys like the new overlay? I think I might just use it for all streams, although I feel like it makes the um, the playfield a little too small. I don't know. Here we go. Turn up the volume. Crank it. Here we go. <laughs> uh. 
Oh no. This song, this song brings back a lot of memories for me. I never played Mega Man 1 as a kid, but I had a lot of memories with it as an adult. Reminds me of being alone, and then not being alone, but being sad. And... Being really happy. Yeah, who needs the ice? God, these guys are pieces of shit. Did not die at that part, did not die at that part, I am the greatest. Tom's playing Pokemon Sword and is not in the chat. Everyone go harass Tom on Twitter and Facebook and Gaia Online and uh, Neopets and uh, I wherever else you can find Tom. All right. We're not gonna get hit. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do I believe that? Here we go. <sighs> And sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Where's the foot? Super jump. <laughs> what? Did you have, <laughs> have you played Mega Man One? Because uh, that's the worst boss in this entire game, and uh, that's kind of the approved way of fighting him because he's such a piece of fucking dog shit. Leave me be. Let me jump. Let me jump over the hole. personally played but I've seen the game played before but them exploits yeah so this game has two pauses it has the menu pause and it has regular pause so with regular pause it just freezes the game but if you have a lek beam out 
its hitbox refreshes uh, when you do this pause. And the Yellow Devil is the biggest piece of shit in the entire Mega Man series. Mm, maybe. It's just, it's such an unrelenting boss. Like, like it, it does the entire room thing. It does the entire room thing and it's just like, you have no chance to attack it in that time, period. It just does that and you just have to fucking hope that you survive. Every hit does like a shitload of damage. And when it does go to attack you and you can actually attack it, the frame is like one and a half seconds long where you can actually hit it. It's weak to only one thing, and when it shoots you, it also does a shitload of damage. I think more than when it just hits you. And then it's and then you have to dodge the entire thing again. And it's it's so fucking hard. That's speedrunner talk. Yeah, I so like I used to in my ooh god. In my free time, just run Mega Man 1 through 6 on my 3DS um, when they released those versions. And I got pretty good at some of them. I don't remember who this is. Oh, this guy. I'm gonna cut your, sh your circuits short. Fuck you. That's my smack talk. Fuck you. like to have that. Pretty please. Look at how fast you drop. Beep. jumped into it, I'm gonna die in real life. At least I have an extra life now. Because this boss is also hard. He will also use that ability. Fuck. And if he touches you, you also take damage. And he does he does more damage than you do. Oh. God. I'm using the NES controller though. sound like backwards. <laughs> I have fought the Yoda Devil many times. Um, normally. I even, I've even fought him and beaten him with the, um, shitty fucking regular weapon. Don't recommend anyone go and do all that. Fight that man with hacks, don't be a hero. Oh, hey Kim, how's it going? 
Yeah, I did. I did. I pause. I pause. Glitch that motherfucker. Give me a one up. I'm feeling a one up. I'm feeling lucky. Ooh, I should have switched weapons on that. No more health, please. No more. No more points. Where are the penguins? Why did they stop spawning? Oh yeah, the rockets, that's right. Colors are so blah in this. Hey, Tom, how's it going? They are. It's a very ugly stage. <laughs> Fuck! I thought he came from the top. Fuck me! I'm misremembering where they're all coming from. Are you kidding? How did that hit me? What? Ooh. Ooh. Yeet. I'm doing well since I don't have to play this one. This is my second playthrough tonight. It's not as bad as it could be. MLG, thank you. If it wasn't for that pause exploit though, this game would be much worse. <laughs> Just that one boss. Like, Mega Man 9, I'm honestly considering moving down simply for the double devil boss. It's so fucking unfair. Oh shit, what a beast. How do you like the uh, the overlay I got going on here? Why am I trying to hit that with that? Oh yeah, Tom, I guess we've never played through all the Mega Man games before. I guess maybe you haven't seen all my elite strats from playing them on break at my old job where I had no friends in the bathroom. <laughs> Any, any ladder in Mega Man that is exactly this height, where I can jump to the top of it and push up and turn around, is a better ladder. Yeah, but at least you can get items in 9. That is true. Extremely on brand. <laughs> you mean, oh, I thought you meant <laughs> playing in the bathroom. <laughs> What do you think of me playing in the bathroom at work with uh, since I had no friends? Very on brand for you, Fish. Thank you. Do I want the extra life? I do, but it's not worth it. Who is first? It's not Fireman. It's not Elect Man. Or maybe it, no, it's not Fireman. Alameo, it works for both. Ooh. He came into the doorway with me. I used to be able to do all these bosses and fight Wily in one life. I think that you have to get hit. I had to get hit during this fight. I don't know how to beat Fireman without getting hit. At least like twice. He's just, he's too fucking much. Are you fucking kidding me? It froze me in place because I killed him. Oh, goody. 
be nice if it gave you a chance to go back and get those fucking power-ups. I played two to four hours of Xenoblade on the toilet at my old job, it happens. On the 3DS? On the new Nintendo 3DS? See, the 3DS version had some weird pause thing where, like, I could shoot him twice with the Elect Beam, but then I couldn't jump in time to get dodged those. It was very strange. So I did Bomb, I did Elect. Guts. Isn't Guts weak to Bomb? Um. They learned a lot from this one to improve in two. Nah, brought my Wii in there. <laughs> I never use this power. I guess it's alright. That's pretty good. You don't have to lie, bomb is bad. It's good against Gutsman. I mean, Gutsman's pretty easy already, but... It does help. Three hits is much better. I'm going to get swept, so I'm just gonna go in there and uh, I'm just gonna go in there and have fun, you know? Stock up on this bitch. Good luck, bro. Thanks. <laughs> this is my last life, too, I'm pretty sure. Ones for all the gamer points. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Switch the goddamn weapon, stop being on fire! Why am I getting hit so many times? No! I got all the way to the end before I game over. Well, I'm not gonna be it without game overing today, which is fine. I don't know why I was getting hit so many times. The last, like, the last two times I fought him, he barely hit me at all in that form. Now you have more mans to mega. Fuck. My score though! My legacy! so much bigger than mine. Do I want to play it a third time to try to beat it without continuing? Not really. It's 
stop shooting me. Let me pause. You got that bomb envy. I do. Oh shit, no. Yeah, two times in one night is a lot. It only took about an hour each time. That's still a lot, but, you know. Could be worse. I'm gonna use the best power. <laughs> he walked through the air. Nailed him. Shit. How did that, that didn't work? How didn't that work? <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm trying to decide what kind of run I would like to do. Jesus Christ, that power is so fucking good on this. You could also do the pause glitch on this boss. Which I would do if I were on my last life again on a high score run, but I am not. See, look. I think I just choked, to be honest. Let's kill him with something stupid. What? It makes the damage... <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt him. There's only so many powers you can hurt him with. Die! And then he cuts his head off. Man closes his eyes. That's the root of them. It really is. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace. You're doing so much damage with that ice, don't look at the health. my overlay. MS Paint, 20 minutes. <laughs> Look, if you, uh, if you rewind, you can see when he transforms, his face, like, goes transparent for a few frames. Mega Man lives in New York City, not in fucking Japan. Those are the Twin Towers right there. Mega Man lives in an alternate timeline, 2000X, where 9-11 didn't happen. In a stucco house with his sister with no real, like, fucking whites of her eyes. 
It is said that Roll was never made playable in a in a main game. I have Monsteropolis. Like, I like that you play as her in a... Hey, I'm done with this garbage. Be gone! Sure, save it. Options. Make better. This is pretty cool. Actually, that's really cool. You can see it that close. Oh, here we go. say it's Mega Man versus the powerful leaders and fighting forces of Monsteropolis that strange multi-layered land of robot-like humanoids created by the wrongly performed experiments with human being slow the fuck down this music is so loud it's Mega Man versus the powerful leaders it's Mega Man versus the powerful leaders and fighting forces of Monsteropolis that strange, multi-layered land of robot-like, robot-like humanoids, so they're not robots, created by the wrongly performed experiments with human beings by Dr. Wright. By Dr. Wright, spelled with a W. So if it was Dr. Wright with a W, you would not be able to tell Wiley and Dr. Light apart because they would both have a fucking W for their symbol. The first paragraph just knocked me on my ass. There's so many things wrong in, in there. <laughs> Mega Man, the chosen defender of the human race, for he... Oh. Mega Man, the chosen defender of the human race, for he dares to single-handedly hand penetrate Monsteropolis's seven... Shouldn't that be... S apostrophe S? Because it's not plural. Seven separate societies. Seven separate societies to stop the rapid expansion of the strange misrepresentations of humans. Mega Man's goal is monumental. He must infiltrate seven separate heavily guarded empires. By himself, he must break down and destroy the followers of the followers of empire leaders. Cutman, Gutsman, Iceman, Bombman, Fireman, Electman, and Dr. Wily. The action involves Mega Man armed with only... I'm sorry. Armed with only his... Only with laser beam weapons encountering strangely configured humanoids. They're atop in and out of fortified prison-like structures strengthened with thick walls. Below ice fields... Below ice fields. Hidden amid gun turrets embedded in concrete uprights. Even in subterranean passage... Passages under ice fields. Icefield is in there twice. Wow. Will you and Mega Man penetrate the seven separate societies of Dr. Wright and preserve the human race? You're in control. This box art just did real damage to me. I need to put a health bar on the screen somewhere over here. Just And I can lower it any time that something just takes health out of me. That is one of the worst things I've ever read. Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Is that Dr. Wright? Dr. Light's the good guy, you fucking idiot. Okay, so the this says Dr. Wily, at least. I mean, I... Uh, somehow, I don't think copy proofing was high on the tier list. No, I don't think so either. Look at this fucking cool box art, though. Look at that shit. I, I hazard to say this is better than the Japanese box art. Captain Commando. Oh, okay. It's bad art of Captain Commando. I would say this is the, the best box art for this game. Mega Man, you know, he looks a little goofy, but whatever. Dr. Wily looks good. The Robot Masters look good and accurate. You got the castle. Like, it's a high action pose. It's good. 
Oh my god, the, se the seven separate societies. Uh, okay, so they get Dr. Wily right here. With human beings, though, okay. Alright, it's at least a little more accurate. Not much. Adhering Susie. Adhering Susie. <laughs> Need me a freak like this. That is pretty sick, right? Isn't that a cool one? Blaster. Bombman. Bomb um bomb um bomb. Maybe? Bun be heli. Change key. Copy robot. Crazy Razy. Cut blade. Cut blade two. Cut man. CWU 01P. Dr. Light. Dr. Wiley. Look at how cute they look. I want to be drawn like this. Draw me like one of your 1988 doctors. Elect Man, Fireman, Firestorm, Firestorm 2, Foot Footholder, also known as biggest piece of shit in the world. Gabiowal, Gutsman, Hyperbomb, Hyperbomb 2, Iceman, Iceman Slasher, Ice Slasher 2. Kamadoma, Killer Bomb, Mambu, Mega Man, you know him. That's a pose he makes in Smash Brothers when he wins. Metal, Packaging Illustration, Pepe, Pickleman, Pickleman. That's what you're gonna call him. You're gonna call him Pickleman. Is this Pickleman? Is this the face of Pickleman to you? Does this look like the face of Pickleman to you? Roll, who looks ill. She looks ill and, like, old. She looks like one of the Golden Girls. Or like Picket Man, if you ask me. I almost thought it was Picket Man there for a second. I'm Pickle Man! Screwdriver. Sniper Joe. Pick Axe Man, I guess? Yeah, just Pickle Man's weird. I do love Sniper Joe's design. It holds up even with this shitty art. Super Arm. Thunder Beam. I like when they read the art. Watcher, Wily Machine, Wily Machine 2. Oh, what a big difference. Yellow Devil, other biggest piece of shit. I like the color, you know. I like all this. This is cool. Cutman, Dr. Light, Dr. Wily, Elect Man, Fireman, Guts Man, Ice Man, Mega Man, Metal, Roll. She looks, she looks better here. She looks healthier. Sniper Joe. Oh my god, he's so cool. He's got titties. Dan Sniper Joe, your titties. Dan Sniper Joe, your bobbies. I really should try drawing my story characters like on these sheets. Yeah, character sheets are always good. I think that, I think that really shows dedication to their designs. To find their colors and everything. Yeah, for sure. Ah, uh, some concept art. Whoa, the bomb man. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like the early concept where he has the bomb on his head. See, this looks fucking awesome. The bomb man stage does look cool. Bimbo Joe. <laughs> it's me, Bimbo Joe. Look at Dr. Light. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh my god. Alec man. Environment concept. Fireman, footholder, gabual, gutsman, hazard, 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 ice. Kamadoma, killer bomb, mambu. Mega Man, Metal, Pepe, Pickle Man, back at it again, Robot Factory, Sniper Joe's got a very cool design because they just ripped off Gundam, Unused Enemy, oh that thing comes, that will show up later, now the design of Light looks like he would never even have made it far enough to work on X, <laughs> pretty much. This Mega Man art is very cute. Why 
find the UFO, Yellow Devil. See, I, I'm not crazy about this art. I feel like the early KJ Anafune art is kind of lacking. Like, it's cute in a way, but it's just, it's not very good. Um, and then later on he goes in the exact opposite direction, where he just, like, a whole fucking manual in here? Jesus. I mean, this is pretty good art. I still feel like this is too tall, but... Um, I did a bunch of these on the, uh, oh, no, 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 on the, uh, 3DS version, so I don't really care to do them again. But yeah, let's listen to a good-ass song. Hard agree on NF King art. Yeah, like... It's good enough. Like, this is pretty good. I like I like the Mega Man 2 art well enough. It's fine. It's cute. It's simple. It's, like, cartoony and goofy. But, like... It, like, it's just... It's kind of ugly. But, like, that's kind of what makes it charming. I feel the same way about the Shovel Knight art in that, um... Like, it looks better... The sprites look better than the art ever does. And that's what was so great about Mega Man and Smash, is that they used the sprite as basis for the art, rather than the art. Because Mega Man was designed, his design was completed, the sprite was completed before the art was ever made. Like, Pokemon, most of the Pokemon that were made were made in Pokemon Green before they were ever drawn. 100% yes on Shovel Knight. Tom, we're in agreement today. I'm loving it. But yeah, so like... Like, Inafune didn't design how Mega Man looks. He was given the sprite and then drew the sprite. And yeah, he did make a lot of the robot masters and enemies and stuff like that. And he did refine the art. But then he also went really crazy and, you know, made Mega Man, like, eight feet tall with boots that were, like, five feet tall. And, you know, he just kind of stretched out his design over the years and made him look worse. In Dragalia, when you tap on Mega Man on the home screen, he makes makes Mega Man sounds. Ooh. Also, also, he's slightly taller than the others, amusingly enough. I really wanted to play that event. Can you even still get Mega Man in that? I just missed it. I really, I really just hate timed events. If there's a timed event in the game, I probably won't get around to doing it, because I hate feeling, like, rushed into playing it. Um... Yeah, Shovel Knight just looks much better in sprite form. Mega Man looks much better in sprite form. I I love Shovel Knight, but I feel like the art for that series is just... is not as good as the in-game sprites. I feel like Shovel Knight is always way too big and bulky. Sadly, no, unless they brought it back, but collab events rarely come back among all the ones I've seen in various games. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not too broken up about it, to be honest, but... Um, there's some really cool promo art made for it, so that's cool. I wasn't done listening to that. I really wanted to make um, this whole overlay Flashman themed. I mean, maybe eventually I will and have it like um, with the, the the blocks flashing different colors, you know, very gently. So I'd like to make an animated one eventually, but this one I kind of just whipped together. So I wanted something. I thought it looked unprofessional that it was there was no overlay. So I hope this helps. Um, I gotta fix these uh, these bars eventually too, though. Yeah. What else? Um, they have the sound effects one. No. God, 
what a good fucking soundtrack. What a mediocre soundtrack. But yeah, um, so that was Mega Man Monday. Uh, I'm gonna do that once per month for the whole year, hopefully. So I'm gonna have to start practicing. I have a mighty need for that Zero ZX collection. I got the ZX collection on the DS, because I, I had heard that it was really good, and I, I could not get into it, but I, I've never, I haven't been able to get into any other Mega Man series other than the classic one. I played X1, it's not a huge fan, I finished it, I played um, a little bit of Mega Man 64, my cartridge is really shitty, so maybe I need to give that another shot. Um, I played ZX, he's not a huge fan of that. I have not played Battle Network or Star Force yet, but um, I think I would like Battle Network. There's just so many entries. I wish that, like, the Mega Man series is like anime. It's just, they need to be more brief. You know, you end up getting a lot of filler games, like Mega Man 4, Mega Man 10, Mega Man 11, to most extents. Battle Network is weird but neat. My only experience is, um, what was that, Battle Mega Man Command Mission or something? It was on, um, the GameCube. It was like a Battle Network themed game, but it was a 2D side-scroller anyway. And it was... a bad. Oh shit, that one. I remember one quote on it. It's, like... It's hard, like, I so I played that after I played all ten of the original Mega Man games, and that game is way too fucking hard to, like, bother with. Harder, harder than a month-old Kaiser roll. I would say that's pretty fair. It's way too fucking hard to be fun. I mean, I would say, hardest Mega Man games I've ever played would be... That... Mm, that... And Mega Man and Base I would put together. And then below that I would put, like... Seven. And then they're all, I mean, they're all pretty hard, but like those ones are way too hard. Mega Man and Base is fucking awful. And like it was made for the Super Nintendo and they didn't take into consideration the smaller screen, size screen for the Game Boy Advance. So it's just, it's really fucking hard with no, no real way to get around it. Um, and it's garbage and I hate it. Can't wait to see you do that one. Mega Man and, and Base? I'm not fucking playing that game. I mean, maybe, maybe in December, uh, I could, I could play that. So I have it on Game, game Boy Advance, I could put it in the Game Boy Player, I could get an HDMI to, uh, to fucking component adapter, and I could try to stream it, but that is gonna be... I guarantee I won't beat it. I've never beaten that game. It's the only classic series game I have not beaten, short of, like, you know, the Wonder Swan game. Sw Wonder Swan game and, like, the PC ports and weird shit like that. Uh, if it's logistical difficulty, then that is a bummer. I mean, it's it's it would be logistically difficult to stream it, but it would also just be difficult to fucking beat it, because it's it's not fun, it's just bad. And it's weird because it has like four robot masters. It's like the Game Boy games, where it has four robot masters from the main series and then four that are unique. Um, and they have cool themes, but it also does the thing where you can only fight four in the beginning, and then you unlock four later. And out of the four you can fight in the beginning, only one of them is really like feasible to do because they're all so fucking hard. That game, ooh, made me so mad. So I'm gonna have to start practicing some of these games for um, when I do get to play that. Mega Man 2, I'm not gonna practice that shit. I can, I can beat that. I think I'm gonna do a Flash Stopper run, but seeing how fast this went, I might do two runs through it. Because I, I'd like to do a Flash Stopper run and show off kind of a lot of the tricks you can do with that. Um, but Mega Man 3 is gonna be hard as well. 4 is gonna be hard. You know, 5 is not very hard, to be honest. 6 isn't very hard, and then 7. In July, I'm gonna be really mad. Um, 
saw a speedrun of the DOS versions. Holy shit, that game is wild. The heart, one of the videos that I used to laugh the hardest at was um, Mega Man DOS. Uh, just someone playing it, and like they were playing it on a newer computer, so the frame rate was like totally out of control. <laughs> it just it was very funny. That's the whole. That's the whole thought. It was just a very funny video. God, Mega Man 2 soundtrack fucking slaps ass! It's so good! This is like the worst song on the soundtrack. Like a certain other blue here. Here we <laughs> Alexa, set reminder for Monday, July 6th. Fish mad. I'm gonna. I will be mad. I, I'm not positive I can beat that game in one sitting. I will I will definitely have to practice this. Like I practiced this game tonight a little bit. Like I played it for I played I did one playthrough, kinda of very distractedly. And I, I did rewind a little bit just to get kind of a better feeling for it. But to be fair, I didn't rewind any gameplay uh, to fix it when I played it tonight. Because I'm not about that. Um so I I put these games through their paces. But man, seven is gonna be a fucking nightmare. And then 8's gonna be not great, and then 9's gonna be hard as shit, and 10 I don't remember anything about. Watched a little bit of a playthrough of 10 today because I I just don't remember anything about that fucking game other than the soccer stage. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot to remember. And Sheet Man was in it, so that's cool. I like Sheet Man. Anyway, yeah. So that's the Monday stream. I'm gonna stream tomorrow on my usual night. Um, and finish Pokemon. After, I mean, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't keep fucking going. After Pokemon's done, though, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna pick up Cuphead. So it's just gonna be a lot of me being fucking mad in the, in the future. I'm gonna pick up Cuphead. Um, I think I've chosen Thursday night for my second streaming night. I think I'm gonna start doing that. Um, probably not this week since I already had two streams. Um, well, it depends what you say the end is. The end of the story. Like, when I finally get to beat Leon, and I win the championship or whatever, I would say that's probably the end. Yeah, so I'm gonna stream that tomorrow, and I think Cuphead is gonna be the next game I play, play on stream. But we'll see how that goes. If I get too mad, you know, I might play something else, but... I don't know, do people want to see me mad? I feel like everyone wants to see me get mad at games. I have so many fucking games to play, dude. Gato Roboto. Man, I should play that soon, too. Maybe I'll play that in between Cuphead. Because it's pretty short from what I hear. Transistor. I gotta knock out some of these small ones, too. Cuphead, you smoke bomb, and you will be fine. You are a platformer king. Well, it's not so much a platformer as it is a, a run and gun. I mean, there are platformer stages, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Everyone says it's really fucking hard, so I'm sure it will be. But yeah, tomorrow Pokemon, and uh, after that, probably Cuphead. I'll let you know how it is. So far, Gato is like Super Metroid, but better in every facet. I know you don't like Metroid games, Tom, but come on. It's the whole channel name. I'm gonna change my channel name to... Mato... Luprato. Anyway, is that 10 already? Damn. Cool. Well... Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, chatting, everybody. I feel like I'm actually stopping on like a decent time tonight. <coughs> I need to do this more often. Um, if you are not a part of the uh, the Looper Matroid channel, feel free to give me a follow. I stream every Tuesday at 7:30. I'm gonna do a Mega Man game a month. If you enjoyed this, um, obviously you just heard my plans for other games to stream. I'd love to have you. If you haven't already, uh, like the Facebook page because. Uh, then you'll see whenever I post that I'm going live. You can also go to my Twitter, but I do post a lot of non-stream related stuff there, so I don't blame you if you don't follow that. 
Um, I recently just did a ranking of all the Mega Man games in order there, on how much I like them. So after I do this every month, hopefully, um, we'll see how that compares. But um, I really hope that these games don't get marred too bad by the, uh, the slowdown and the latency. We'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, what else? The YouTube page, you know, whatever. Whatever. If you, if you have a, if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you know, feel free to go ahead and give me a sub. I would really appreciate that. If you want to buy any bits, I have bit notifications, and this will go up. Once I hit $20, I'm going to buy a green screen to put behind me, and uh, I'll have decorations and stuff back here, too. I think I might put, like, shelving back here so I can have some, like, decorations and stuff when I'm streaming, like different for whatever game I'm playing, and then uh, I can fold that down and have a green screen down there too, so I'm not in this little box, but you know, I'm kind of liking this little box. It's not bad, you know? Not a bad little box. Yeah. Anyway, that's it, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow on stream. Anyway, have a good night, and uh, thanks for watching. It's a cozy corner. Yeah, well, we're all having a good time here. Listen to the, the best song in any video game ever. Alright guys. And gals. And envies. And everyone else. We'll catch you later. See ya. See ya Tom. See ya T. See ya Kim. See ya... I almost said Looper Matroid. See ya Duck. I'm going to continue listening to this for six more hours instead of going to sleep. Fuck you, Tom.